So there's a new extension on Automatic 11.11 which allows you to crop out, very easily crop out the backgrounds of images. And we're going to use that today to go ahead and chuck the avocado armchair on a shirt. So that's what we're doing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start this timer to see how long the process takes in total. Off we go. So an armchair that's shaped like an avocado, we're using Stable Diffusion 2.0 of course, and we're also using all these nice negative prompts which I stole from Delightful Designs. So thank you. Thank you, sir. And of course, for some reason, uh, negative prompts are like really good for Stable Diffusion 2.0. I haven't actually looked into technicals, but they do help a lot. So we've got the right image size for 2.0. We've got the right CFG scale. Um, it all looks pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and generate. Okay, and we're speed running this. So gotta be quick. What was that? Two minutes. Which one looks the best? Which is the best avocado armchair? I'm seeing this a lot with Stable Diffusion 2.0, where it'll give you like multiple panels. If someone could, if someone knows how to stop it doing that, that'd be sick. Um, look, this is probably the best avocado armchair by like a fairly wide margin, I think. So we're gonna go with that one. Send that to image to image. So now we need the, to install the extension. We go to extensions and I already have it installed. It's called depth to mask. But if you want to install it, you just go to this available tab and then click load from to make it actually load. There are two different depth maps ones. You want depth to map mask instead. Uh, the other one's good as well, but it doesn't have this feature. Okay, so click install. In my case, it should already be installed. So great, uh, installed, go to installed. Uh, you might have to uh, tick it on and then click apply and restart UI. If you tick it off, I'll just show you what happens. Then extensions, it's not ticked. Then if you go to image to image, it won't appear down here in this scripts tab. So extensions, tick it on, apply and restart UI, image to image. Okay, and then now, now we can use it. Depth aware image to image mask. We'll grab our armchair again text to image images. There we go. That is definitely an avocado armchair. Now, we just want to crop out the background. And what this depth mask does is it uses a different neural network that isn't stable diffusion. It's like some other thing to estimate which pixels are foreground and which pixels are background. And it'll show you which it thinks are foreground and background by making a depth mask. So at the moment, we just leave everything as it is, except we use DPT large, because that's the best model to use. Uh, and then we, yeah, all these settings are exactly as they should be, except we want to save the depth map so we can see it later. And then you just click generate. Um, it might take a long time for you though, because you might have to download the model and that could take you know up to half an hour. Okay, so you can kind of see what's happened here. This image you can ignore. In this case, what this image did is it tried to paint over the white areas in the depth mask. So these areas, which were seen to be the foreground, were sort of painted over. You can kind of just ignore that. The only thing we're interested in is the, is the depth thing here. So unfortunately, this image actually isn't so good. And the reason it isn't so good is because the foreground is actually here. We want something where the foreground is kind of just this avocado armchair. That's what we're looking for. So we could try to fiddle around with this image a bit more, but let's try a different image instead. This one looks a bit better because clearly this is the foreground element and hopefully it won't include the ground as well this time. Keep everything the same, DPT large and just generate again. Okay, so this has turned out to be a lot better. It's still got some foreground in, but the chair itself is actually considered mostly foreground. Now we're gonna try something a little bit tricky and we're gonna say, turn the depth map into actual, absolute black and white. Hopefully what this will do is it'll keep just the chair and maybe the stand in and a bit of the foreground. And that way we can get the nice image we're looking for. So I'll try that again. Okay, and that actually, that basically worked perfectly, I would say, because as we can see, the outline of the chair is, is kind of the exact outline we wanted. So that's a thumbs up. If it's not exactly what you want, you can play around with this contrast cuts level. And the higher that is, the more pixels will be black. It raises the threshold for a pixel to be considered part of the foreground. So using that setting, 
you know, if there was still a bit of white here, we could, ra we could raise it until the white disappeared. So now that we have a good mask, a good depth map, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this save alpha crop. And what that'll save is it'll create a version of this image where only the white pixels are actually in the image and the rest are transparent. So we're gonna give that a go right now and I'll show you what, what happens. Great, so the generation finished. We're now looking at three images. This one, which they tried to paint over the white stuff and they just painted something random, so don't worry. This one, which is the depth map, and this one, we're, which is just the avocado chair itself. Now, the, the edges are a bit jagged, but other than that, we've actually achieved basically what we wanted, which was this transparent crop. And we can now chuck that onto a uh, bloody shirt if we wanted. The images that you generate with this um, method will be always an image to image. So we'll just grab this one. Okay, and here's the shirt. Bim, bam, boom. I mean, ideally you'd also want to get rid of the, the, the ground as well. And there's probably a better image you could use that would crop out the ground as well. But I feel like we've done our job. 11 minutes, 20 seconds, and that's also me screwing around and making YouTube videos and stuff. So really quick process to get something that looks like a reasonable shirt design. You can also just use it for general design stuff. So here I've replaced the Google logo with the avocado armchair that we just made. And if you use the soft version, so the setting over here, you untick this and don't turn it into absolute black and white, then you get this kind of nice effect of fading um, where this was the original image over here and then we cropped it and here you get this sort of nice ghostly Joe Biden where the features that are important, his face, are the most, um, are the most uh, colorful and the rest is, is now transparent. Okay, so hopefully this was a helpful feature. Um, it's actually one that I added, so I can code, it's true. And if you have any requests, uh, request those requests and then maybe those requests will be fulfilled.